When solving percentage problems, we have three types of cases. In my last video, called how to find the percentage of a number, two methods, we ask the question, what is 23% of 300? We solve that problem by first writing the 23% as 23 over 100 because the percentage sign is equivalent to dividing a number by 100. And second, we wrote the multiplication symbol instead of the word of. So when asked what is 23% of 300, the unknown number was on the right hand side of the equation. Let's mark the unknown number as an x. This is the first case of percentage problems. And after cancelling out the two zeros and multiplying 23 by 3, we get x equals 69. But what if the question is 23%? of what is 69. In this case we're looking for the 300, which is the unknown number in the middle of the equation. This is the second case of percentage problems. How would we solve this equation? Similar to other equations, we just have to isolate the x, which we do by dividing both sides of the equation by 23 over 100. And after cancelling out 23 over 100, on the left hand side we get x equals 69 divided by 23 over 100. Dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of the fraction. So we get 69 times 100 over 23. 69 divided by 23 is 3 and 23 divided by 3 is 1. And 3 times 100 is 300. So we get x equals 300. And the third case is when we ask what percentage is 69 of 300 equal to. We immediately see that the unknown is the number with the percentage sign, because the question is asking for the percent. We also don't see the number with the percentage sign in the question. So let's put the x in the spot of the unknown number. x times 300 equals 69. Again, we just have to isolate the x by dividing the equation by 300 on both sides. And after cancelling out the 300 on the left hand side, we get x equals 69 over 300. 69 divided by 3 is 23. And 300 divided by 3 is 100. So we get 23 over 100. We know that 23 over 100 is equivalent to 23% and we are done with this problem. 
Let's do a quick recap. We only have three cases when solving basic percentage problems, which makes solving them very easy. When we ask the question, what is 23% of 300? Then we have the first case. In other words, the unknown x stands by itself on the right hand side of the equation. The second case is when we ask the question 23% of what is 69? Then the number in the middle is the unknown x. And the third case is when we ask the question what percentage is 69 of 300 equal to? In this case the unknown x is the number with the percentage sign on the left hand side of the equation. After identifying the x, the rest is simple. Just isolate the x, calculate and simplify. The hard part is to find out from the word problem what the unknown x is. But with some exercises that I'll provide in my next video, you can master these kinds of problems easily. One last thing. There are different ways to give names to these three numbers. Like percentage, percent, part, whole, total, rate, base and so on. The word percentage has different meanings when doing percentage problems in different books or with different teachers. Also, the word part is not always correct. So be careful and make sure you understand the pattern of the problem and don't get confused by the tagged words. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. This video is what I did for you. If you want to do something for me, hit the bell button, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and happy learning everyone.